hey hello friends uh, welcome back uh, today i'm going to show you how to cut a was2812 strip i here i have a white pcb uh, 60 uh, leds uh, per meter uh, strip uh, it is an ip67 waterproof uh, one uh, that i got on aliexpress a year ago what i essentially want to do is uh, just use about 16 of these for one of my uh, Diwali lights projects uh, that I have uh, planned for this year. Um, so it's a pretty straightforward uh, activity. Essentially, if you can see, let me try to get this closer. Uh, what you need to do is each LED is put on a flexible uh, PCB. And what you need to do is to ensure uh, that you exactly cut here uh, so that you don't have any breakages now for the remainder part of the uh, strip and that you can solder out of this so uh, let me uh, quickly show you how to cut this and then solder this and use it for your projects so here you go for this project i generally like to use uh, a scissors uh, it, it can cut through a scissor or a clipper like a flat clipper like this uh, that you can get off the market this is pretty straightforward to use and gives you a good cut let me just show you in a bit let's say i just want to cut about four uh, leds out of the strip what i do is let me try to focus this guy is make sure you are exactly centered there's always a marking if you can see a small line there uh, if i can make it visible for you uh, here and make sure that you have a straight cut put up there there you go and once make sure it's in a one single cut of course you'll have some of this uh, hanging around that's basically the IP67 sheath uh, which you can just take off and uh, then cut it like so say so there you have it so what I'm also going to show you is how to solder this guy up uh, so that you can use it in some of your projects uh, since this is a sheath there I'm going to take another nose plier and just pull it out a little bit I don't want to pull it out completely uh, so I'm just going to use the nose player to do this so that I'm able to solder it a little bit just a quick one there you go this should do so that I expose it and I'm able to solder it All right there you can see uh, so the most important of any soldering project is that uh, you make sure that you tin it uh, before tinning, uh, generally I have a practice of kind of making sure that uh, I use a blade like this just to scrape off um, any grease or covering that it may have. So likewise. Alright, the next step is basically to get your soldering rod and let me clean it and just tin this guy up. Remember, um, you can see that, uh, let me show you here, this is a 5 volts, it is a 3 pin WS2812. So you have the 5 volts inputs here uh, with the ground connection. The middle one is a data port which is D in. So you want essentially uh, to make sure that you have your data coming in through your microcontroller on this guy. Right? So it's important that you turn it up and have it ready. And there I go. There you go. There you go. All right. So I just pinned it up. Uh, the objective of this uh, uh, exercise is basically I want to be able to put this three pin header on top of this guy. So I am kind of holding it using a nose player. Uh, the reason is it can get pretty hot uh, when you're soldering it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is basically tin it. I've already kind of scraped it a little bit uh, to ensure that uh, it sticks well, the solder sticks well. Very important to get a good solder um, so that you can do your projects and it does not stick or flow off. All right. With that, let me show you how I do this. It's going to be a little tricky, but uh, with practice, you should be able to do it. Of course, you can uh, you can have a soldering uh, rod 
and a holder to make your life easier i don't have that so uh, unfortunately but i'm going to use this technique uh, to essentially uh, solder this so i'm going to focus this a little better right the first one is done uh, so i just need to do the other two remember it can get pretty hot so you want to ensure all safety how do this and not burn your hands up pretty straightforward there see the tinning kind of helped us a lot and ensuring i'll just make sure there's a good connect there all right so i have a fantastic finish uh, done there so which i can use to directly plug in uh, into my breadboard uh, with my ESP8266 and then use it for my projects. Thank you.